Hey, welcome back to the channel. Right now we're heading to the post office. I have all these boxes with my Twilight paintings in them. And we're gonna be sending those off in the mail to people. We're gonna be doing the 25 days of Christmas on this YouTube channel. So what that means is every day for the first 25 days of December, I'll be uploading a new video. I don't even know what I'm gonna do in today's video. Oh, something you can look forward to is a new video for me every day from now until Christmas. But these paintings are going to the post office. And I think Porter wants to come along today. Porter, you coming? Get in the car. A sweet potato just fell out of my car. So in these daily videos that I'm gonna be putting up, in every video I'm gonna have a, a plein air painting session or some type of painting activity. It might not be a new thing from every single day, but the good thing is is that I filmed all summer long and I have a ton of backlogged painting sessions. So I'll be putting some of those up. If you don't wanna see all the vlogging and if you don't wanna see everything that I'm gonna be doing and you just are here for the painting, that's cool too. I'll let you know in each video where the painting is gonna be at so that you can skip right to that part. I have a cat. All right, I took the first batch of packages into the post office and I just have this final one to mail out. Um, there's a great mural inside the post office that I wanted to get on film so that you guys could check it out. It's something that was done in the 20s or 30s as a part of the WPA. They paid artists to go around and paint all these different murals. So we have a very nice one in Reedsburg. They painted this mural and it was a little too big. So the artist had to chop a part of it off. And let's take a look at it now. Hey Ron. Yeah, I wanted to get a... Yeah, what is it? That's from the WPA initiative? Yeah, right. It's from the, when they did that. Right. Yeah. It's a nice piece for Reedsburg to have. Oh yeah. Christian Didn't... Center's got one too. Yeah, it's a similar one. I, I just know because of people. Want... Yeah, I heard that the artist painted it a little too big and they had to chop a section of it off. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I, they, I have to... they touched that up one time. Oh really? Somebody, you know, one of the previous postmasters. Uh, well, that's you don't need interesting. Extra insurance on this cow. Yeah, there's been quite a few people lately that have come in because they've been doing some little articles on those. I've, been, you know, I've been here quite a few years, and through the years, there's been, you know, they got books on murals, sure. murals, and there's uh -huh. been different people that have done these books. They've come in here. One guy even came in at night, wanted the lighting to be just so. Oh really? You know, I mean, whatever. I mean, you know, yeah. they accommodated and all that. Right? That's really cool. Yeah. So yeah, you never know. You know. Hey, it's all good. We're all telling the story of. You well, know. right. You know, and that's what makes it kind of fun too. You know, you got a little education with that too. That. Yes, you know, sir. All right. <laughs> See you soon. What a cool mural. It just reminds me of my grandpa loading the milk cans into the truck. You know, it was a big deal out on the farm if you could get a truck and you could load your milk cans into the truck. A lot different than the days when I was milking cows down in the barn. We're gonna go and deliver two paintings over in Baraboo. Um, it's just two that we're local. I can deliver these. It's gonna save me 20 bucks in shipping. So let's head over to Baraboo and drop these paintings up. There's just such a wind today and we'll see. I'll get some painting in at some point. We have to deliver these paintings and maybe I'll just put them on Porter's back and send him to the door. Probably get, probably get a sheriff knocking on my door if I actually did that. I've delivered one of the paintings and this one is going to my friend Deb Grawl so I'm just gonna walk this one over to her door and then that's all the deliveries that we have for today. At the 
paintings are delivered, I'm going to stop by the hardware store and get a sheet of plexiglass. I want to make a new palette for my French easel. So we're headed there now. But I've always kind of liked this view right here. And I'm not going to paint it today, but I thought I'd do just a little pencil sketch. You can see right there that the view is quite nice. And I actually want to paint it during a snowstorm. So sometime when it snows, I'm going to come back here and do a painting of this. But now, let's just do a little pencil sketch of it. Alright, I just wrapped up my little sketch and I wrote below it, paint this in the snowstorm. So, it's, the sketch is not much, but I drove through here with Corbin a couple weeks ago when it was snowing and just the way that the snow obscured the the landscape as the rolling hills went back things became even more obscured now i know that i want to come back here and i want to paint in a snowstorm so that's a good thing to know i guess let's continue on let's get home mountain-looking landscape. That's Abelman's Gorge. That's just like a couple miles from my house. I think I'm gonna pull the plug on this vlog for today. I'm gonna charge my camera, start editing some video, eat lunch, do a little stretching. I'm gonna get out and paint late in the day. I'll throw that footage in the end here. And for these first 25 days of December, you're just gonna see a new video for me every day. We're just gonna take it as it comes. Really beautiful moonrise today. I think I got a good thing going on with this painting right here. There's some guys over there, they were just like wrestling on the courthouse lawn. And it's a festive night. I'll be able to get a lot better feel for what this painting actually looks like once I take it inside and we see it in the light. Painting a nocturne, it's, it's always really challenging because, you know, number one, you can't see very well, have a light illuminating the the uh, painting surface and I'll also have a light in my hand so that I can see what I'm doing on the palette as I'm mixing colors. Tomorrow morning when we take a look at this it's going to look totally different just because this light is a cool light in my hand so it's going to, it's probably going to uh, change the color harmony a little bit. I never really mind that. I think that in the future I'll look for more of a daylight bulb to work under when I am painting at nighttime. For now I think that it's time to get home for the evening. Thanks so much for joining me out here on the square in Baraboo. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>